Hello, I'm Chris Edmonds of the Purposeful Culture Group. Here's today's culture leadership charge for your thoughtful consideration. We're in the dog days of summer here in Colorado. No matter where you live, your enthusiasm for your work goes through ebbs and flows, more engaged at times than at other times. When we're at a low ebb, we miss things. We're not paying close attention, so we make more mistakes. We miss more details. We complete a task at 80% of what's required rather than driving through to 100%. Leaders experience the same ebbs and flows. The challenge is that when leaders aren't fully present, results aren't as strong as they need to be, and the quality of the work culture isn't as healthy as it needs to be. If leaders have defined what a good citizen looks like in your organization, say keeping commitments or treating others kindly or ensuring the safety of self and colleagues, yet those valued behaviors are not modeled by leaders, coached by leaders, or monitored by leaders, your work culture won't be consistently purposeful, positive, or productive. Now, this is not an impossible task. Our great bosses did pay attention to team culture, to team spirit, and to living our team values. The quality and health of that team culture received as much attention as their team's results and performance. One wasn't more important than the other. Both results and values were equally and vitally important. Why should leaders pay attention to their team or company culture? Because a purposeful, positive, productive work culture that demonstrates trust, respect, and dignity to every player and every customer creates greater employee engagement, typically 40% gains, greater customer service, also 40% gains, and greater results and profits with 35% gains. Those gains won't happen if leaders leave their team or department or company culture to chance. Don't let the ebb and flow of your energy at work inhibit your duty to proactively manage the quality of your work culture. Be intentional about values. Define them, model them, coach them, and celebrate them. Make values, how people treat each other in your workplace, as important as results. What have I missed? What questions do you have? Add your thoughts in the comments section below.